gentlemen, it is uh, it's a special honor to be able to swear uh, Assemblyman uh, Select Milam in. I had the privilege of sitting next to you when I first arrived here in 2009, uh, as a, or 2010, uh, as a new Assemblyman. And, and I can tell you that uh, Matt is somebody who is thoughtful and courageous and somebody who has great ideas, has done terrific things for his community and for the state. And, and Assemblyman Select, we are proud to have you back and we welcome you with open arms and look forward to working with you and continuing to do the good things that you, you did in the past. So welcome Thank back. You. It is truly an honor, very humbling to be back here again. There's a lot of people, maybe even in this room, that say it'd be a cold day in hell when I came back here. But we know what today's like. It's pretty <laughs> guys darn cold. But it is an honor to be back. It's an honor to just be able to join this great room, both sides of the aisle, which I always, always enjoyed working with, to just make sure we get the things done that have to be done. Because in the most bipartisan ways, this is how this chamber gets things done. It's with the state spending. It's about living within our means. Before we raise another tax, before we raise another fee, we need to get our fiscal house in order before we can ask for anything else. We all have to live within our means personally. We have to live within our means in our businesses. The state has to live within their means and be good stewards of taxpayer dollars. I am going to make my first official cost-saving measure that I brought my old name tag back <laughs> so the state would not have to buy a new one. If anyone has a Phillips head screwdriver, I'll be glad to do that so we don't have to bother maintenance to put it on.